efficiency and you know testing things for yourself, not assuming that the manufacturer is correct. Um, the one I wish you would revisit more is uh, RFID. Now I know that does Kerry still have the RFID oh, tag in her arm? Dude, the RFID thing. Yeah. Why did you not? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I'm not. You. you it's, it's just it's not going to happen. Right. I, I t well, discovered. Here's what happened. Here's here's what happened. I'm not sure how much of the story I'm allowed to tell, but I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> um, we were we were going to do RFID and. We, uh, on several levels, you know, how hackable, how reliable, how trackable, et cetera, et cetera. And we, uh, one of our researchers called up Texas Instruments, and they arranged a conference call between, uh, I think, Tori and the head producer over there for the other team, Linda Wolkovich, and uh, one of the technicians at Texas Instruments. This was, they were supposed to have a conference call to talk about the technology on like Tuesday at 10 a.m. And Tuesday at 10 a.m., Linda and Tori get on the phone and they, uh, Texas Instruments comes on, <clears throat> along with Chief Legal Counsel for American Express, Visa, Discover, <laughs> and everybody else. I mean, and I got chills just as I described it. They, they were way, way outgunned. And they absolutely made it really clear to Discovery that they were not going to air this episode talking about how hackable this stuff was and Discovery backed way down being a large corporation who depends upon the revenue of the advertisers. Uh, and now just, it's on Discovery's radar, they won't let us go near it. So I'm sorry. No. We are, it, it's, it's just, just one of those things, but man, that was a really, your story still gets a little white when he describes that phone conversation. <laughs> Well, you do have about 3,000 people in the room who aren't under such legal arrangements with producers, so. 